Take we haven't planned this out ahead of time, right? Absolutely. I swear not. to the people. Okay. I have removed one card from the deck. Mm -hmm. You can't see it. No. Would you please name your card out loud? Queen of Spades. The Queen of Spades? Well, you're wrong! <laughs> Well, thank you very much. Got a lot of people here. How many people are here tonight? Just out of curiosity, raise them up. Okay. Um, have I started yet? I have. Okay, then let's go. Seriously. What a cute girl. Well, you get to see a show. All I have are memories. And I'm into professional photography. I paid 900 bucks for this. Is that too much? So these cameras are great because an idiot. Uh, me, see, I'm Steve Martin, and uh, I'll be out here in just a moment. It said I'm Steve Martin, and I'll be out here in a minute. Well, here's something you don't often see. Ah! Well, here's something you don't often see. Ah! You're saying, you're saying, oh, I bet this guy can't juggle. <laughs> Let's see, can you catch this, sir? Take it and toss it up in midair, okay? Put it right about there, I'd say. <laughs> All right, Mike. Thank you. Well, thank you. This is too much, really. <laughs> well, I don't deserve all this. This is the one I call the candle trick. It uses candle. Drum roll, please. <laughs> If you're going to France, let me give you a warning. In France, chapeau means hat. Rue means street. It's like those French have a different word for everything. You know, it's so hard to believe in anything anymore. You know that? Like religion is so mythological and it's always some story. You know, Biff came down from the sky with the magic golden rings. And science, on the other hand, is just pure empiricism. and. Uh, by virtue of its method, it excludes metaphysics. And I guess I wouldn't believe in anything if it weren't for my lucky astrology mood watch. <laughs> well, with prices today, I wanted to buy some carpeting. You know how much they want for carpeting? $15 a square yard. And I'm sorry, I am not going to pay that for carpeting. <laughs> so what I did, I bought two square yards, and when I go home, I strap them to my feet. it bothers me if I'm in a restaurant and I'm eating and someone says, hey, mind if I smoke? I always say, oh, no, do you mind if I fart? I gave it some thought and I came up with a fantastic solution to the population problem. You know, we've got one. There's just too many people. I gave it some thought and it's so simple. Death penalty for parking violations. <laughs> it snuck a lot of people. I think, I think people who are out of work Instead of giving them money, we should give them a banjo, because it's so happy. They can just go home and, did you get a job today, dear? Nope. <laughs> Doesn't matter, though. 
Sing along, kids. And this doesn't happen very often. About three weeks ago, I met a girl. And she was real nice, and she invited me to her apartment. So I went over there, and she had the best pussy I have ever... Oh, now, come on! I'm talking about her cat. Now, that makes me sick right there. Now, you can't say anything anymore that people don't take it dirty, and I'm sorry. That disgusts me. That cat was the best fuck I ever had. Good. Now, let's repeat the nonconformist oath. I promise to be different. I promise to be different. I promise to be unique. I promise to be unique. I promise not to repeat things other people say. Good. For you now, you know, all comedians do impressions, and this is one you don't see very often. This is my impression of the incredible shrinking man. Now, in order for me to do this, you have to close your eyes just for about three seconds and then open them again, and you will see right before you the incredible shrinking man. So, everyone, close your eyes. I'll tell you when to open them. Okay, open them. <laughs> Well, good evening, poodles and collies. <laughs> you know, Bowser and Fido was walking down the street one day, and Bowser spotted this big dish full of dog food. Well, he went over and took a big bite of it, leaned over to Fido and said, this stuff isn't fit for a human. <laughs> oh, I got a million of them. I recorded an album a couple of months ago, and two days from tonight, that will be this coming Thursday, we're going to erase it. So, <laughs> I do a bit in my act where I make balloon animals, and it's really funny, and everybody laughs, and I had a request to do it tonight, and then I was gonna do it, but then I remembered I'd done it on the show before, so I was a little confused. I hate to repeat material, yet, you know, I wanted to do the thing, so I've made a compromise. I'm going to make balloon animals, but I'm not going to blow them up. I think this will be... <laughs> that's, a, that's a puppy dog. Yeah. This is a cow playing a guitar. Okay. So you always fill up the balloons with words, and if they pop, they go... God damn it. Not easy getting that air to curl up inside your lungs like that. I'd like to get serious just for a moment. Um, I know what you're gonna say. Right, sir. Steve, how can you be so funny? That's right. <laughs> you know, I'm not Vegas. Like, places I play usually cost like $3 to get in, you know, and people are going, gee, I, I got $3, I think I'll throw it away. <laughs> oh, I can come in here for $3? Oh, okay. <laughs> but in Vegas, it's like $15 to get in, you know? And there's a reason for that, because the acts are really good, you know? And also, some of the acts get paid a lot of money. <laughs> Whenever I tell that joke, I get kind of depressed. I, sh I shouldn't talk about this, but it was my old girlfriend's favorite joke, and, uh, you know, sometimes after this show, I'd come home. We were together about three years, and I'd come home and tell it to her, and she'd laugh, and I get kind of sentimental because she's not living anymore and that's <laughs> and I guess I kind of blame myself for her death um, I shot her <laughs> and now it's time for a little dance and here we go The hills are alive with the sound of music. <laughs> that's five or six minutes of the funniest things I've ever seen here for a long time. Oh, really, that's super. That's, yeah. that's really funny. Yes. We'll take a short break. We'll be right back. <laughs> I've got to be moved.